All right, so this is where we stay, stayed. And I forgot to film any of it yesterday, so I didn't get our rent in, but we had a bunk room and it's really nice, nice place. This is like the little common area to hang out in. It's a, it's a big place, a lot of rooms. <sighs> yeah, I can't show it all because we're about to leave, but it was nice. Yeah, I just completely forgot to film today. Um, I will say one thing, if you are going to video and then upload videos, this place isn't good for that. They have Wi-Fi, but it's not, um, I'm going down steps. It's not good enough to upload videos. <laughs> so you can get on the internet and do things like that, but uh, not great. back on the trail where we left off this is really nice right here we got like three tenths of a mile and then we gotta get on the boat the canoe I guess was not really a boat like well it is a boat but canoe to cross the Kennebec yep Lake, okay. 14 mile long lake. Okay. From here up, obviously, is the river. Yeah. What is, what is tricky about the crossing is that entire river dives under the lake. The oh, lake I is warm you. water, the river is cooler, so it just goes right under. Cool. Creates a very strong undertow out there you can't see. Ah. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah, that's why we're here. It's very yeah. man. Wow. And here is the Kennebec that we have to ferry across. It looks, I know, it looks almost deceiving, like, oh, you could cross that. But I bet that's deeper than it looks like it is. But either way. Yep, nope. That'd be a big negative. Oh, yeah. Just go with the flow, as they say, <laughs> in the, on the river. No, don't grab the sides. Don't go to the sides. all right well what a girl and i are waiting for the next ride skipper just went over with another hiker where's he at mayo is his name mayo is his name you can't hardly see them but they're over there hey uh that's the first time i've seen any metal litter in here i must have came down and left this part of the water first day oh, oh awesome oh. Woo! Did I mention I'm a level three white water raft guy? Do you know how you can tell when they're lying? Yeah. How? Their mouth is moving. Uh, they're uh, I know, your mouth's uh, covered. No, I'm just playing with you. Me and Greg both started. Greg landed the contract, called me and said, hey, Rob, would you be willing to help me out with a gig? Look, we're on the sure, canopy. This is awesome. Is wait on shore for somebody to show up, paddle across, <laughs> get them in the canoe and paddle back. So, move. Dang it. This time of year, uh -huh. we're going to be in your swamp. Okay. And your weedy areas on small ponds. Really? The last half hour of light and the first half hour of light. Okay. So that's about the only other time you see them. All right, well, we all got across the Kennebec. Now we're hiking up. We don't have very far to go today um, because we're going to do the Pierce Pond. Um, Pierce Pond to camp. But that's because we want to do the Harrison's uh, pond camp or camp breakfast room is like kind of infamous and it's supposed to be really good and you have to be there really early <clears throat> so this is part of the experience and then after tomorrow we'll start today we'll start trying to pick up our miles we'll you know back up again but, you know like this is just part of the experiences you know you want to do all the things as much as you can but of course obviously we can't have low mileage all the time but, yeah, so I'm going to start making a point to get up early. I'm going to try to get up at like four. We'll see how that gets. I'm going to try though. That's some really nice, clear looking water. 
Man. Supposedly there's like a bunch of waterfalls along this portion of trail that we're hiking on. <clears throat> so that'll be pretty nice. And there's another little waterfall down there. It's pretty. There's so much roots and rocks and it's all wet because it rained this morning. So I have to be so careful. So definitely no filming through this. Well, it's been pretty rooty and rocky <clears throat> so far. Got a little nice section right there. I have to be so careful. I don't know, after all these falls, I just, I don't know. Maybe I'm being overly nervous, but I just, I'd rather do that than have something happen. So, all right, phone away. This part's really pretty. This is what a lot of the trail looks like. Just tons of roots. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, we gotta go across this. Uh, well, I will say though, guys, I was just gonna walk and I was being a little foolish, but uh, this is extremely- I know, and I'm, oh so God. So basically just use both hands. Oh this is what I'm doing and, and not really trust my feet. Mm -hmm. If that makes any sense. Yeah. Because this is oh my God. actually not that fun. This is really pretty. You can do some swimming here if you want. I might suck my feet. What a girl. Hello. And skipper's somewhere around here. There's so many spots you could get in and swim if you wanted. Wow. So many little watering holes. It goes all the way down. Another swimming hole. Kind of neat how the trail goes right near the water like that. Yeah, so it's just falling along this brook, river. I guess it's a brook. <clears throat> Here. 
here, I just heard a car. Oh, there must be a road close by. So I'm going over here to the Harrison Pond Camp to register us for breakfast tomorrow. I'm going to get this nif nifty bridge so you don't have to cross the water for it. You can just take this. This is neat. All right, I signed myself up and I went inside Water Girl up too for breakfast because I knew she wanted it. Um, so I'll just have to tell Skipper. And then the, there's another guy who's going south named Mayo. If they want to breakfast, they'll have to go over there. And it's only three tenths of a mile from the shelter, so it's not far. Um, but Tim was so nice. He even gave me a glass of lemonade. It was so good. I'm excited for the delicious breakfast tomorrow. So, um, yeah, I'm excited. All right. How do I go? Lost the trail. I'm not paying attention. How do I get there? Over here. Here's where he was talking about you have to ford. Right here. It's okay. What if I could... I was like, see if there's like a way to rock hop it. There isn't. It's okay. Mm. The shelter. Because it's only a tenth of a mile. So hopefully it will be okay to wear these to the shelter. And that way I don't change shoes. And I can just soak my feet in the pond. And to clean them off when I get there. Yep, this is what I do. I'll be there in just a minute. You can actually see the pond from here. Cool. All right, I made it to the lean to. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Look, it overlooks the water. That's pretty cool. Oh, here we go. There it is. There's my, ha oh, look. Somebody used a pumpkin. Oh man. I gotta dress up for Halloween this year. I'll probably be on the trail still, so hopefully Jerry can come out. This is nice. Yeah, look at this. Oh yeah. I see some moose in the morning. We get up really early. Oh yeah. Nice. Let's zoom out. Oh yeah, pretty. All right. Well, I decided to tent camp because this spot was just too good to pass up. Look, it's right down here. It's right down from the shelter. But look, it's like right at the water. So this is my view. Oh yeah. And. I've got some of my clothes hanging up too to dry a little. So it's a nice thing about getting to camp a little early. Man, I do like that. I like being able to get a good spot and, you know, dry out clothes and just relax. So, yeah, but uh, Skip, uh, Skipper and Water Girl haven't shown up yet. So I guess they were swimming in the, where we were at earlier, the falls with Mayo. So, um, yeah, so... I was going to tell them to go over to Harrison's, you know, to if they wanted to get breakfast. I did already sign up Water Girl, though. But hopefully, like I said, I wake up early and see a moose. Or maybe I see a moose this evening. Who knows? Somebody said they saw one here just the other day. I guess we'll find out. I feel like such a goob. I think in one of my videos I said something about the dad. <laughs> I, 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 I know better. I just in the moment was like... Not thinking straight, but <laughs> yeah, of course, lakes don't have a tide. Um, yeah, I think I was thinking like rivers with dams, you know, and they release the water. That's what I was thinking of. But anyway, sometimes you have to ignore me <laughs> in my rambling. 
I even have like a nice little rock over here I can sit and eat my dinner if I wanted to. I'm gonna sit here on this rock and enjoy some snacks. Last day is this beautiful water. Oh yeah. Mm. This is nice. Oh. This is the stuff though, I'm not gonna lie, I love about Maine. Holy smoke. Like with all the roots and rocks and slips and falls. And then you get this kind of stuff and it's just <sighs> I love it so much. A moose would make it perfect. It's my this is my appetizer, chicken salad tortilla with the Cheetos. And I've got a gratin potatoes cooking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was, it was Look at these cheesy au gratin potatoes. potatoes. Oh, oh my goodness, so oh, delicious looking. Wait, doing? What you doing, Stacky Snake? <laughs> what you doing, Patty? Huh? Do you smell food? Does, you want to go kill all the rats in the shelter? Hmm? No. You little water snake, is that what you are? Skipper got us a fire going, even with the wet wood. Kind of remember like it. To make yeah. A couple of things. Oh yeah. The other day I just recorded this mm. Look at my sweet yeah, spot down cool. there. Oh a yeah. <laughs> Good job, Skipper. All right. Well, we're all around the campfire here. So, I'm like way late on doing this, but I think it's time I should introduce you officially to Ben Tramley, and then we have a new, new guy with us too here, and I'm gonna let them tell you their trail names. How they got their trail name, um, where they're from, what they're doing, like what kind of hike they're doing, like where they started, where they got off, and then they're going to tell you what their one favorite thing on the trail is so far. So let's let me introduce you. We're going to let you start. All right, my name's Water Girl, and I got the name pretty early on trail. I um wasn't used to the fact that some small springs would have like little pipes, like, uh, like white pipes in them uh, mm. to help water flow out and easier mm -hmm. to fill your water bottle. So I get over to a shelter and plop my stuff down. There's really just like a bunch of puddles here trying to figure out how I'm gonna get my water. And there's a bunch of like retired guys, um, you know, out for a couple days at the shelter and they say, oh, there's a pipe right up there. And I didn't know what to look for. So I start looking through the brush thinking there's like this big like metal pipe with like a faucet on it. And I didn't think there would be one out there, but like they said there was a pipe. So, um, so they later directed me to like, oh no, do you need help? And I'm like, no, of course I don't need help. And uh, I got my water and then I saw them later that day. And every time I saw them later that day, they called me Water Girl. So the name stuck. I'm doing a flip flop. I started in Georgia. And I got up to uh, Grayson Highlands, which is in Southern uh, Virginia, and then got up to Maine. So now I have to walk back to Southern Virginia. Uh, there's a lot of favorite things about the trail. Um, one of them is that I really do like the hard work of hiking, but my favorite part has been the people. The people have blown my mind. I always thought being out here was going to be cool. I thought a lot about the work. I didn't think a lot about the beautiful things that I was going to see and who I would be able to see them with. And that's the most magical thing for me. And where are you from? I'm from Austin, Texas. Okay. And you are definitely living up to your name, your trail name of Water Girl, because you've had multiple occasions giving me water. So I do what I can. <laughs> yeah. It's a multi-purpose name. Absolutely. Okay. And then... Hi. Hi. So I'm Mayo. That's my trail name. Uh, I got it because uh, mm -hmm. my brother was making fun of me and he says I'm very pale and he he said I look like a jar of mayonnaise. So I made the mistake of telling my friends that when I was hiking the AT. 
um, a few months ago and mayo kind of stuck. So I, I like it now. So I'm, I'm with it. <laughs> Even though I don't eat mayonnaise. So <laughs> oh, well, that's funny. Yeah. So that actually is even more funny that yeah. you don't eat mayonnaise, but you're Charlie's mayonnaise. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of mayonnaise. <laughs> okay, so well, that's cool. It's nothing to do with the food. It's just uh, my brother making fun of me because I'm pale. Um, I'm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and I'm doing a, a true sobo. So I started in Katahdin uh, 11 days ago, and I met these lovely people here today, Grades and Water Girl and um, Skipper, and uh, I'm hanging out with them right now. And uh, yeah, I'm going... All the way to Georgia. So, what is your favorite thing? Well, my favorite thing, as you Park. saw today, is I like to swim. So, yep. especially yep. in Maine, my favorite thing is jumping in as much water as possible. Yep. Um, and I love seeing the generosity of uh, the trail angels, like people on the trail giving out trail magic and stuff like that. And, and uh, just everyone at these inns and just, uh, yeah, everyone that's kind of like so accommodating to hikers is like really cool to see. So, um, that and, and swimming. That, that's got to be it. Awesome. <laughs> and then... Well, my name is uh, Skipper. And I got that name because I like uh, swimming quite a bit. And I'm from Asheville, North Carolina. And my favorite thing out here... I'd have to say the water. It tastes real good. It doesn't taste like that seawater. <laughs> so, uh, and I'm really enjoying it out here. And also the people. There's mm -hmm. some really good people out here. Mm. and uh it's an awesome place and i got a great family now yeah I love you guys and then what is your um so where did you start and uh, where do you finish i started uh amicola huh? and then i got off just south of damascus so mm -hmm. i'm a flip-flopper mm -hmm. so damascus just uh south of damascus at uh standing boots is uh where i'll you know finish the trail yeah it was you know because of covid19 things are a little different this year yeah but uh having a great time and uh, look forward to it. And you're also a very good cook. He cooked me and Water Girl dinner the other night. Y'all will have seen that by the time you see this. And uh, he has a knack for uh, talking about food on the trail in a way that takes time away from miles and miles of hiking. <laughs> so that's pretty awesome. <laughs> All right. Well, this is the awesome people I'm hanging around with. So awesome. And if I don't fall and kill myself. <laughs> Oh, looks like the sunset's going to be nice. Well, I'm going to go ahead and lay in my tent. Try to edit some video. So I can at least have all that ready. Hopefully, if possible. Watch the sun go down. Try to get some sleep early tonight so I can get up early. Because we're going to have a yummy, yummy breakfast at Harrison's. And I get coffee. Which will be yummy. So I'm going to say goodnight. See y'all tomorrow.